leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop Mazin Namdekano, has told Yoruba youth that the security of their lives and properties, including those of their parents, is their responsibility and therefore should not rely on their governors because, like the southeast and south south governors, they will not protect them. Mazikano, in a statement by the group's media and publicity secretary, Ima Powerful, reminded Yoruba youth that South West governors did nothing when Kela Hesme kidnapped and killed a Yoruba leader, Fashionati's daughter, on Yoruba soil. Mazikano noted that the South West governors, particularly the Yondo State governor, cannot sustain any stand against Kela Hesme activities suspected to be Fulanese because they belong almost to a political party, urging the youth to rise up to the occasion like the Eastern youth have done with Eastern Security Network, ESN, and take their destiny in their hands. Kanu warned the youth that any attempt to compromise will be the end of the Yoruba nation. Mazi Kanu's statement read in part, saying, Somehow, I knew he didn't have the balls to withstand their caliphate masters. His resistance didn't last long. Did it? Like the Eastern counterpart, he has capitulated. When one is S-man, S-man permit, which one is S-man permit? Do you mean that you have government licensed terrorists operating in Yoruba forest? No wonder Parfashionati's daughter was murdered on Yoruba soil by these licensed killers in Yoruba land and the South West governors did nothing. Everybody knows me, Asi Alakatu breeders in Nigeria are the dreaded killers, bandits and terrorists, raping, kidnapping and pillaging our indigenous communities. Only God knows what they have promised this governor or perhaps the media hit from the caliphate is too much for him to bear. My Yoruba folks, especially the youth, please learn something from Eastern Security Network. Defend your land and forest yourselves with your lives. If you surrender your future to these unstable politicians, your children and those unborn will be slaves forever. If in that, look at what became the once great Ausaris. Today, Fulani oligarchs have reduced them to nothing, absolutely nothing. A once proud, tolerant, loving and technologically advanced race like the Ausa is now a shadow of itself because they made the same mistakes. Yoruba youth are about to make today. Sokoto was once a thriving Hausa city called Goba on Tifulanis from Senegambia asked and were given permission to graze their cattle in their bushes. Before they realized what was happening, their land was taken over and renamed before their eyes. Yoruba, wake up and stand your ground. If you compromise now, you are finished. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, Namdekano is always speaking because, in my opinion, I would have just said, what is your business if they do, mm-hmm. if they don't do, mm-hmm. but just at times, eh, maybe if you think, as oh, my neighbor is going through some stuff, of course, he's not going to come near me, I've already fortified myself, <laughs> you, might be, you might be joking, it might get to you, somehow, 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 it might get to you, that is why people who are deep thinkers, they think beyond even what could be happening within their vicinity i think that's why he's talking because these people and that's why i said it's it's under fire some people say hey, what is your problem you want to cause confusion you want to call this and that all of the things that he said out of shame or out of ignorance or out of a what i don't even understand how to put it they cannot come and say oh yes so oh, this man said it to oh, hey obasanjo but trust it as well oh, they won't say that they will not say that, but they prefer to die in silence. But thank God for Sunday, somebody who is coming up. Sunday Igbo is coming up and is, is you know, is representing the youth. It's giving their confidence. But some youth, they prefer to go and be, and be, and be dobale, to be dobale, to be saying, yes, sir, or rasa, all those kind of a thing. You know, somebody that will be giving them peanuts. Somebody, somebody, some people that will be, you know, some people are just like that because they cannot just even ruled that out completely but with sunday go on at least there's a kind of confidence you know that some people are somewhere because everywhere is just quiet everywhere is just me nothing you are not even hearing anything the only thing is just like a, maybe when somebody's inside bush it's only the noises of the 
of the birds and the animals that you'll be hearing but everyone will just be quiet that is exactly what has been happening before this man just came up of course it's like he has been doing some things before now a lot of people didn't really know him much but with this one people are beginning to know that okay there's somebody speaking and before you know it all the so-called elected people all the so-called people who have power who have influence they are beginning to chicken out they are afraid because like he told them before their very eyes that what are you guys afraid of is you are, at, at your age you are still afraid you want to die or you don't want to go into cell or because of the money they are paying you because they are the ones that are because you are they are your employer they are they, are, they pay you that's why you don't want to say anything and you see your children going down the drain on a daily basis when the issue of answers came up how many of them spoke how many just maybe one or two but if you don't even want to say if in the canoe he does not even need to tell you what you need to do but at least everybody can see what has been happening and the northerners have been threatening here and there and again a cleric from the from bono state he said the same thing he said the same thing yesterday that we talked about this whole thing that the south south southern governors should do the needful so that what befell them will not befall them but they will not listen the man told all of them that you better emulate Akredolu, but as it stands now like a a lot of people see, you know, are still watching Akele Dolu because they are in the same party. We don't even know whether it's going to chicken out because a lot of things could happen because these people, you don't trust them. If you put your put your lives or put your trust in this in the hands of these politicians, hey, hey, at your own risk because they are not ready to do anything. They are not ready to do anything, no. They are well secured, just like the presidency is telling us that, uh, oh, restructuring is in the hands of the National Assembly. They have nothing to do and all of that. And people are saying, if you go and meet those national assemblies, what are they fighting for? They already they already occupy their own personal position they want to occupy. So what would they say is their problem? Are they going to be complaining about electricity because they already have alternative? Are they going to be complaining about good health? Oh, they have money to fly around the world. Or what are you going to say is their problem? No. Is it education? Oh my goodness, they are, they are going outside the country to get themselves, to get their, their children educated. The best services in this world they can get it. So it we ah before we can see a patriotic person is going to be had. The body that lied, the body that say he has integrity is patriotic. Any backhand like this say you don't the UK patronize the, the the government of other the economy of other governments and you say that person is patriotic and the way it is now we don't even know what is happening honestly. So see the way they of course it is it is a known fact now that this so-called fulani esme whatever they call themselves wherever they are coming from they have gained ground there is nothing anybody can do it is now it's to to, to make sure that the people fight for them defend themselves because all these people they could be playing policies everybody is happy yes i can really say this i can really say that but let's see how it goes let us see how it goes today is today today is the friday so let us see is it today okay it is a igboho Akiri uh, is going to be maybe Sunday or Monday, so because seven days, that that was what he gave starting from Monday. So let's wait and see what is going to happen. If you like, you can call Namdi Kanu mm-hmm, any way you like. After all, you don't the, the software said don't really start, so there's no point telling you whether it's lying or it's not lying. You will tell him that hey, he should come back to to, to the country. He should come and do this and that because you guys you don't know what you are talking about. Somebody who is over there is coordinating people, but you are in your own, own place. What have you done? Nothing. You are just making math, writing up and down, telling you all those politicians deceiving you, giving you guguru and granots, and you are happy. Or some people are just even defending without cover where they even they had their hand. So somebody who is over there, see the way you coordinated people. Have you ever heard? That uh, the farmers now in Sassis are complaining that uh, they can't go to their farms. But you are there, right there, right there. You open your two eyes, bagada for there. You know if they do anything. See what fool I need to talk. See all the all the all the this in the northerners. See all the different groups threatening you people. And you are there saying Nam the Kano make you come back home to come and do what? So I think some people should be ashamed of themselves. And they don't have shame. Because for people who have shame, they will not even be talking. Even if you don't want to even answer him, a lot of them have been saying they have been vomiting what I don't understand, vomiting nonsense here and there. So, now they can Now you even try, you even get luck. You get luck, even they advise them. You don't need to advise them because they will not even take it because you are not the one that will fight for them if they cannot fight for themselves. Somebody was asking a question that a uh, Yinka grandson, is he grandfather, be grandson, whatever. He cannot talk now. Now, 
he will be saying Igbo's this, Igbo that, or maybe they have put him uh, where he belongs to because he's not he's in UK. He's not been talking now. Now that uh, this whole thing is happening, this is not the time you need to come out. But if it is Igbo's, Igbo's are going to do this. Igbo, you don't, you don't say now. Nah, it's a paper waste. He does not even have anything. Just make him out. So guys, let us hear your opinion. Leave your comments below and let us know your thoughts on this. Thank you.